Okay, we're back with another video. And in this one, we are continuing our uh, property optimization for, uh, we just did Google My Business, so now we're doing Bing Places, which essentially is their version of uh, the business listing page. So this is for Microsoft under Bing. And the reason why we do this after Google My Business Setup is because Bing was kind enough to recently add an import feature. Uh, so essentially we just connect our Google My Business and it will import that directly. It's actually a really, really nice feature. Um, so let me pull that up. Uh, let's see. Okay, so once you log into Bing Places, so bingplaces.com, You'll register, you can actually use your Gmail account to connect and register uh, through this site, right? And then once you're in there, you'll see this page. So you can either import an existing listing from Google My Business or you can create it from scratch. But in this case, we definitely don't want to uh, create it from scratch because we've already done the hard work. So we're going to import from Google My Business. All right. Uh, so once this happens, you'll see this bit of text here and all you have to do is click continue to Google my business. And it's going to ask you to connect with your Gmail account. So you'll select that and then click allow. And then you're going to select which ones to import. Um, so I'm just going to des deselect that and I'm going to ensure that I have my clients one, wherever, whatever business you have uh, located, uh, and depending on if you put it in a group or not, I put ours in a uh, client's group inside of Google My Business. Uh, so if that's the case, you would select that. Otherwise, just look for the business name that you want to import and then click continue. And we'll just let that load. Sometimes it takes a minute or so, not even. All right, and then we'll see some information here that we can you know, basically just uh, verify that yes, this was the business name we expected, Color Bright Painting of Long Island, perfect, the address, the phone number, the uh, website, and uh, the status. All right, so we'll go to dashboard. And um, let's close that out. Uh, what I, I recommend doing in order to keep it in line and so that way you don't have to always go into Bing places and update stuff is just click that sync button and we have to authorize that again I believe yeah so we'll do that but the great thing about this is that anytime we make an edit or we change something on Google my business then we can just come here and we can and we can just resync it so there should be no reason that you have to make edits on the Bing listing itself. We'll just do that directly uh, within uh, Google My Business will be where we do all the edits and then it would be uh, synced in the Bing Places section. So let me go back to the main dashboard, right? So every once in a while, you can periodically click that sync now button and uh, you can keep that up to date. Everything else, just verify that it's been pulled properly um, there's also the sync button down here. So they've got a few different places for you to review that. And yeah, everything looks like it, uh, added just fine. And if you need to add users to this, you could do that. Uh, if you have people on your team who need access. Um, but other than that, it was a, it's a very straightforward, or uh, very straightforward process. Once you already do your Google My Business listing first, which is why that's why you know I stress to do that uh, prior to this point. Um, all right, so that is all we need to do uh, at this stage for Bing Places. We now have our Bing Places listing done. It's going to be reviewed, and you can see here it is going to be published in uh, about five days or so. All right, so we're all set with this. A very simple video. I'll see you in the next one.